Hey, welcome back to our unboxing series where we're unboxing different action figures, toys that we collect and just wanted to share them with you. Different types of videos other than the yard sales, estate sales, and the selling part where we sell on our Mercari site and show you what we buy and sell. This is Bama Picking and Grin. I'm John. I'm Ela. And welcome to the channel. So we're doing something different right now. We're doing some unboxing. Uh, we did a few videos before and showed you some of the other figures that we had. If you are a Back to the Future fan, you are in luck right now. They have a lot of great items that are coming out for Back to the Future. Um, and we showed you two different Marty McFlys that we had from Back to the Future 1 and Back to the Future 2. Now we're going to show you an unboxing of another figure that came from this series. And it is none other than, are you ready? I know you remember the Almanac, right? But who got really rich because of the Almanac? Biff Tannen. So, man, what a great character he was. A lot of... Uh, hatred. A lot of hatred was in there, but it was it was comedic, you know? And so, oh, so you can see his face. Because he's got a better face. But not butter face, but better face. The new? Huh? What? Butter, butter face? No, oh. butter face. So here he is, Biff Tannen, and we are reluctantly, we're going to let him breathe. So we're going to take him out and show you what he looks like out of the box. You ready? Here we go. Okay, well here he is, out and breathing. So man, you can tell, look at this. Great head scan. The jacket on here is really nice. Arms move, bends at the elbows. They have a few different sets of hands that come with him. Uh, moving at his ankles and knees, being able to pose him in different ways. And he comes with some other little accessories. The sports almanac, remember that? What else? A safe. That's for the almanac. Mm-hmm. We have the poster for the Under the Sea Dance. Mm. And then the Western Auto Store's World's Leading Auto Accessory Store Certificate. Mm. <laughs> really nice figure. Highly recommend you guys picking this up. Um, any fan of Back to the Future would love this. He's going on the shelf, going to be displayed with McFly. 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 So he's going over there with McFly. And uh, it's all right. So. Millions of dollars. Got one more we want to show you that we got. And this is going to be, for me, it was a must have. I had to have this. So I picked it up. And it is, come on, show them. Wow, check it out. The DeLorean. Outstanding. So we are going to get the DeLorean out of the box so we can show you a little bit of more detail. And it's going to go on the shelf. I can't wait. Look at the box though, man. I mean, really nice. They did a real good job of this. So, good job, NECA. Did a real good job. Yep. It's 1 16th scale. And it says the door's open, so let's check it out. Ready? Dun, da, da, da. What noise did you make when you pulled it out of the box? I heard you. But go ahead. I didn't make that. You noise. did. You said, you said, <laughs> <laughs> you made the car noise. <laughs> no, I did uh, You remember making the car noises when you were a kid, having a little car? <laughs> he did that when he pulled it out of the box. It's awesome, man. So... Why you gotta do me like that? Talk about it a little bit. You noticed some things about it. You noticed what movie it came from, right? Yeah, Back to the Future 1 because there isn't that little... The food processor. The food processor. And if it was the other one, the wheels would probably be up because you don't need roads. Remember? Mm -hmm. Roads. Well, we're going. We don't need roads. We don't need roads. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. And then it says the doors... Let's see if they do. It's tape. Oh, tape on that one. But look at there. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta look. We gotta look for it. 
Okay, let's open this door. Let's see. What are we looking for? We're looking for that, uh, almost like a boomerang. The energy. It does in it. There it is. All the way in the back. Yeah. So, there it is. Front. Let's see inside there. We don't want to see that. <laughs> awesome, awesome detail. Oh, this is going to look good on the shelf, huh? Out of time. Any real Back to the Future fan, this is a must-have. I think you'll really like it. Great detail to it. Encourage you go out and get it. I think we got these. Was it Walmart or Target? Both. Both had them, right? And so we... We were on a trip, I used to get a football game, and uh, I wanna say we stopped at about five or six Walmarts and Targets and picked up different parts of this series of Back to the Future. Well, hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I gotta go get these put on the shelf. Like, subscribe, and uh, leave us some comments. Favorite movies, what characters do you wish they would come out with that would be, I mean, just really amazing for you and memories in your childhood or you know just something uh, you'd love to see what you got one animaniacs animaniacs would be good you know i heard that they're going to be coming out with princess bride figures i think your mom would like that mm -hmm. that'd be neat and conceivable anybody want a peanut <laughs> all right we'll see you next time We'll see you next time. Love you guys. Like, subscribe, and uh, we'll get back to picking soon as soon as somebody lets us go because uh, he's got football well, games. Well, 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 this weekend, um, who okay. has to work? Who this, has to work? This guy. this guy. So, who doesn't have a football game this weekend? Well, we got to go, so we'll see you next time. Bye.